Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Permanent back their bomb. Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Uh, welcome back to Halo 2. Um, okay, cool. My cutscene's volume 2. Um, oh, we're picking up back with Chief. Right, I totally forgot about that. Oh, I love that it Report. brings in the Both shit. Both cores have spun to zero. We're Report. drifting. Both Both engine cores have spun to zero. I'll need to rekey the system. We're drifting. Do it. Find cold. out where we are. I'll need to rekey the system. Sorry for Do the it. Jump, Find sorry. out where we are. You okay, so it looks like the cutscene yeah. dialogue will loop. We are fine. Ma'am, there's an object coming into view now. There's an object coming this into This is view bizarre. Now. Yeah, it looks like if you leave the exactly. original exactly. cutscene quality on, it loops. That is another Halo. <laughs> well, it's Say Halo what? 2. So this is Say what my I thought Halo was some sort of super weapon. Halo was some sort of it is. super weapon. activated. This ring will cause destruction on a galactic scale. I want all the information I all you got on the first Halo. Schematic, topography, schematic, whatever. Topography. I don't care if I have the clearance or not. I have the clearance yes, or not. Where's our target? Where's the enemy ship target? is stopped above the, the ring, ma'am. This is this is really annoying. annoying. Pass right over it. Given what we know about this ring, it's even more important that we capture the problem. Oh my God! You can change in cutscenes. I didn't know. Why he came here? Chief, take first platoon. Hard drop. Secure landing zone. Sergeant, load up two flights of pelicans and follow them in. Aye, aye, ma'am. Until I can move and fight, I'm going to keep a low profile. Once you leave the ship, you're on your own. Understood. <laughs> Over the target in five. I like this team. Hang on to your helmet. The, the, the cooperation of Keys, Johnson, uh, Chief, and Cortana. That's good. <laughs> ODST drop, which is funny because, like, ODST is happening right now. Mind the bump. Meet first in the hell. Also, is that a reference to the bump? Aww. They're cute. Also, there you can see jackals being punched. But oh. Could we possibly make any more noise? Oh. oh. My hero. Oop, screen tearing. Oh, we even get ODSTs. Oh, it's called Hell Jump. Hell yeah. I'm not even seeing a lot. Like, I haven't even found the assault rifle yet. Oh my god, the screen tearing. You know, I guess this is what I get for... Oh wow, I love the... I love the look of Halo 2 Classic. Okay. That isn't wise. Wow. God, that's... This is... Beautiful. Sorry, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look every, at everything. It looks so good. God damn. I need to get a snack after this. So I noticed that they're like, they're almost not even giving me um, the assault rifle. I, I get the, because um, the assault rifle is considered Chief's iconic. Oh, and they give you the lock on as well. But yeah, assault rifle is Chief's iconic. But, like, it's so bad in the first Halo that, um, I think that they probably made it so you don't even see it until later. And when you see it, it'll be the upgraded version. I honestly really like playing Halo 2 with, with this. Like, legitimately. It's... Is, is that weird? Because with Halo 1, there are some moments where... Oh, rip, dude. Don't worry. I'll carry on the hype. See, I love that. You can do it like a waterfall, you know? 
you can start firing with one and then you start reloading with the other. Oh no, I have to switch to this, huh? Rip in peace, dude. Oh, my mustache is itchy. I honestly really like the look of Halo 2. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's it's, it's particular on Delta Halo. God, sorry, sorry everyone. I'm getting screen tears all over the place. But this looks friggin' fantastic. You dropped your gun to run away. Jackals, man. They're cowards. Artillery disabled, Sergeant. Landing zone secure for the moment. I hear you. Starting our approach. Hang tight. Gear set and done. Inbound phantoms, Chief. Phantoms, eh? That I need that. Sorry. I can't wait until I can get a sword in Chief's hands. Like, I love the look of Chief in general, as we've discussed. Chief makes me spooge. He's got a fantastic design. But I also really love the look of Chief with alien weapons in hand. I, I think that they look so great. Like, first of all, it's green and purple, which is a fantastic color combination. And it's this relatively hard science, you know, realistic approach to armor versus this, like, totally unrealistic... Uh, like s tricked out space gun. I hope Chief knows I love him. I cannot remember if Halo 5 is on PC. But if it is, I will play that as well. Originally, I wasn't. Um, I mean, originally, I was just going to do the trilogy. Reach in the trilogy. But then I was like, eh, why don't I do them all in order? And then I went back to do um, Halo Wars. And well, now I'm here, you know? Wow, this guy got all the way up here before he died. And he left me a treat. How nice of you. Thank you, sir. Wait, are those my... They aren't. Cool. So you just have to delay your shot just a little bit. And then you can... Um, the cloud cover is a lot thicker on Delta Halo. So we saw Installation 04 last time. Does that mean that this is 3? There's a lot of relation between um, Covenant and Forerunner languages and modern human languages. So, like, okay, this is what we paid for. Let's get ready. I mean, you saw earlier, even, um, there's a brute whose name is Tartarus, you know? And, like, does that have any meaning in the brute language or in the Covenant languages? I'm not sure. Either it's a universal translator that's like, oh, it's named after an archaic brute word for hell, so we'll change it to the, you know, human language Tartarus from the Greek mythology. Or no, he's literally called Tartarus in his language as well. Or it might even be a case of like, no, yeah, the aliens speak English too. That's what humans speak. Everyone speaks English. Duh, idiot. Which is something... You have something I need, sir. Oh man, it is playtime. <laughs> I've got a rocket in one hand and a sword in the other. God, what do I... Like, I don't want to waste either of my good weapons on you, so I just have to beat you to death. You, on the other hand. Hmm. Yeah, that was stupid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Weird. Hold here until the Pelican arrives, Chief. 
Wow. Oh, you're alive. Uh, here, take this. Oh, you want, sir? Here comes that ride. Oi, what? Here comes our ride, you say? I do like the fact that you can see a lot of different accents in the UNSC. It implies that they're more multicultural. I got a good view coming in. There's a big building in the middle of this island's lake. I saw it too. It looked like a temple. If I were a megalomaniac, and I'm not, that Not where yet I at least, right? Oh cool. This is probably a multiplayer map, right? Like I get the sense that it probably is. Um, what am I doing with you here? Are you just landing slowly? Oh, here we go. Alright, buy other... Oh, whoops. Did I just total that guy? No, he's good. Get in. Yeah, rocket guy on the side. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Land it. Come on. Fuck. Rock your guy on the side. Get your ass back here. <sighs> you know, sometimes my dad sees me drive in like a video game and he's like, you know what? I'm... Are you serious? I've Austin powers myself between these two rocks. Jesus. All right, come on, get in. Now, where are we taking this thing exactly? Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah. Now, this is some real. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh man, you guys, you guys. See, it's a classic uh, exploit to give really good weapons to the AI because they have infinite ammo. Especially in the older games. I don't know if it still works in the later ones. Are they trying to get me to do what I think they're trying to get me to do? One moment, everyone. Be right back. I do like Chief with a... Oh, it's a prophet. Oh, excuse me, everyone. Hey, I've got your holy sword. How does that make you feel? Bitch. Uh, because I want to mention this. Um, one of the AIs in, uh, oh, whoa, it keeps going down. One of the AIs in, uh, the older Bungie game, Marathon, uh, his name is Durandal. And Durandal is the name of the Sword of Roland. And Roland is the first ever paladin. Uh, he's a mythic fig... You guys, you guys, come on. Stop fooling around. Get back in here. Oh whoa, look, you can see you can see the 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 velocity on the on the little HUD in the car there. That's awesome. Huh. Yeah, Durandal is uh, the Sword of Roland, and it might actually be real. Uh, at the end of the at the end of the story, um, Durandal is tossed into the side of a mountain, and uh, in this actual mountain in France, 
there was a chunk of iron, a, a chunk of steel, embedded uh, in a mountain as though it was tossed there. Which means that it might actually be real. I'm not sure, like, what it is, but that's a holy relic because it's a paladin sword, so you can't fuck with it. Same reason that we can't do an autopsy on Jesus. Land it. Nice. As I've said, my dad sees me drive warthogs, and he's like, I'm glad you don't have your permit sometimes. It's pretty similar. I once drove like four miles uh, without wearing my glasses because I'd forgotten them. And uh, I am not very well sighted without my glasses. He was like, that's the fifth stop sign you blew through. I'm like, yeah, I couldn't see it. Luckily, no one was killed that time. These are the moments I love, where you get to be the hyper-lethal vector. This thing is not long for this world, I sense. He somehow got more ammo in this. Anyway, yeah, so the AI in Marathon is named Durandal after Song of Roland. And Cortana is actually also the name of a sword. Uh, I believe it's a mythic sword, but I don't remember what myth. Because now Cortana is more famous as either that AI girl from Halo or the, uh, the Microsoft equivalent to Siri. You know, Microsoft's little AI girl that you talk to. Who is named after the AI girl from Halo as well, so... Judge as you see fit. Okay. So I am not just playing it because uh, it's currently lagging while I'm recording. It's also um, because I do really like the look of it. Am I supposed to go? Oh, hey, fellas. You guys want orders or what do you want out of me here? They're leaving, so oh word, hold up, hold up. Here, how about we get some of these, huh? Or oh, I haven't used the SMG enough. Let's pop this, huh? And then we'll take this and get the hell out of here. Yep. I don't know if uh, Bungie kept that naming convention consistent with their AIs. Um... Knowing what I know about uh, Destiny, I'm willing to bet that there's probably an AI named after a sword in that game, but like... Well, you can definitely look at... Uh-oh. You can definitely look at uh, Marathon and Halo, and those games are like siblings, you know? You can see a lot of lines drawn across them or between them that it's like, these, these games are meant to go together. And in fact, when Combat Evolve was first coming out, uh, a point was made about how it was kind of meant for fans of Marathon. One of the developers went on record and said in an interview, anyone can play Halo, but the but fans of Marathon will enjoy it the most. And like now, no one knows about Marathon other than, oh yeah, it was that game that Bungie made when they weren't making Halo or Destiny. And like... Bungie is so much more famous for Halo. And Destiny isn't really a slouch either. And, like, people do remember Halo better. I think I have used this in some level, though. 
This uh, this sniper rifle. Or snipper rifle, if you prefer. Another one of you guys, huh? Oh, shit. See, I feel like you got a little too close to me there. I feel like that wasn't my fault. I always thought that the uh, generic human marines always looked really dorky. And like, that's not a bad thing. I think that they should look a little dorky to help, you know, make sure that the ODSTs strike a, a more imposing figure. And then to make sure Chief is the most imposing. Oh wow, I'm starting to run dry. Not entirely sure where to go. That's something I found about a lot of these, uh, a lot of halos. I get lost in them very easily. I don't know what it is. I think it's because some levels are designed to be vehicle levels, whereas some are designed to be shooters. And then some are designed as weird little halfway houses. And in those levels, I can really get lost. Sometimes it's also a matter of the verticality of a of level. Well, this just led me in a little circle. That's... gesture of peace and reconciliation. The prophets promised to find the means of the forerunner's transcendence and to share this knowledge with the elites. The elites promised to defend... Yes, we will get the elites to do this thing for us and then we'll share it with them. How great are we? Transcendence, huh? More like mass suicide. I mean, those words can be the same thing. Don't be a bigot, Cortana. Come here, I want to punch everyone. That's what I want. Yes. Is that... Minion just then? That sounded like the voice actor for Minion. From Megamind. Howdy. So... You always bring me to such nice places. Jeez. Cool it, dude. So, um... Was that the soundtrack or just some guy yelling? Oh! So, uh, Halo Combat Evolved is a game. And then they kind of remade that game with Reach's engine. And with Halo 2, they remade it with Halo 5's engine. And I assume Halo 3 is probably going to get remade with the same engine. Or, um, Infinite's engine. That ever comes out. Hold on. Let's get a better weapon to deal with these fools. I didn't see you there, sir. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, 3 is probably going to be remade with Elite's, uh... Halo Infinite's engine. Wow. Yeah, this is a dumb way to use these, I feel. Like, Chief is usually so solid about his gun use that, like, I, I kind of trust him when I see him using two SMGs because he uses them in the way that isn't, like, stupid. Right, 
But when I see someone using two pistols, like, that is one of the dumbest ways to use a gun. Let's be honest here. I thought that I was a needle rifle and my heart skipped a beat. Or it could be all that pork I ate last night. You never know, you know? So yeah, three is, as I as I interrupted myself, three is probably going to get remade with uh, Infinite Engine. It's odd. The Covenant know we made landfall, but they don't seem to consider us. But I wonder, has anyone ever attempted a demake of Halo? Like, has someone tried to make Reach with Halo One's engine? You know, has someone made Halo 5 using Halo 2's engine? Now that Halo is getting a really big uh, PC community, we're starting to see, th you know, a lot of mods made for Halo. It's a very popular game to mod. Wow, that guy looks pimping. Honor Guards, Honor Guards is right, huh? You need this? Sword fight me, bro. Oops. Time for cutscene. Uh, I'll 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 let this I'll let this mission play. I don't mind if we start to have a little. You heard the lady. Locate the prophet and take him down. I don't mind if we have a little uh, moments of longer episodes, especially since uh, combat evolved was. Wait, so go back. Long. That's what I thought he said. The Prophet of Regret is planning to activate Halo. You don't say. I shall light this holy ring, release its cleansing flame, and burn a path into the divine beyond. Pretty much. Commander, we've got a problem. So I hear. But from what I understand, the Prophet will need an object, the Index, to activate the ring. I've located a library similar to the one you found on the first Halo. The rings work the same way, the index should be inside. I'll bet the Covenant are thinking the exact same thing. Then we better beat them to it, Sergeant. Extract your men and meet me at the library. Yes, ma'am. I'll secure the index, Chief. You take out the Prophet. He's given us all the intel we need. All right. Go time. Testament. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you. I want to try this. Like, the feel of the shotgun is still good. I, I will admit, it's a good... Wow, this place looks so awesome. I got drilled, sorry. Yeah, the, the the look of this place looks legitimately awesome, even in the the bad graphics. Of course, you know, doing this does uh, short out my PC for a hot second. Pure speculation, mind you. I need to make a thorough survey for sure. Okay, so let's do the reload. Okay, so it's slowed down a little bit from Halo. Another contact. Take Thank you, everyone. Man, I want to make some stroke. I don't know what it is, but I talk about eating a lot in the Halo episodes. Maybe I just need to take better care of myself. That's, you know, always possible. Glad, glad. God, jackals are so cowardly. Is this only because I'm on normal? I imagine they wouldn't be this, like, this much of wimps on, like, legendary. How did he get past the sword? That's statistically impossible. Okay, 
Who the hell just shot at me? It wasn't you. Someone behind me must... Yep. Someone over here has a gun I don't like. Hup. Wow. Good trade, dude. So when two uh, opponents have an energy sword... Pure speculation, mind you. I need to make a thorough survey to be sure. Um, they can, like, trade, essentially. Yeah, someone out there in the distance is just, like, drilling me. Right with you, sir. Okay, there's jackals on the bridge. I see it. And sometimes an elite can inexplicably survive uh, a strike from a sword. Okay, so I've specced myself for melee here, essentially. Because I have one of the shortest range... Well, let's be frank here. A gun with one of the worst range in the history of mankind. And then I have an energy sword. I love how Chief holds the sword as well. Like, where he has his left hand ready... favorite names for a gun is the locksmith. Uh, I forget what game it's from, but it's, you know, based on the idea of using a shotgun to blow open the lock on a door. Jeez, dude. And like, I love that. I love idiosyncratic gun names. Or weapon names. Or anything, really. Always make sure that you're having fun whenever you name things. Peekaboo. <laughs> Alright. I'm I'm feeling adventurous in in this in this temple tonight. Whoa. There's so many jackals. Sword's out. So with the sword out, you can still punch, which is kind of fantastic. All right. Um, game time, motherfucker. Give me that. I want a battle rifle again. I could use a change of pace. Uh, you're stuck in here, ain't you? Oh, here we go. What are those things? We got hunters. You're damn right I did. I'm the god of war. Cortana, the Covenant's getting nosy. Now, I don't want to give away my position, so I'm rerouting a few stragglers back to you. I so apologize. Are these, these pelicans are all the support you're gonna get. Oh, the, oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Don't ask why. Just say nothing and drink to forget. Okay, pelicans. Where are they at? Here they are. So what are they dropping exactly? I love these little things. These, these are just launching from the far towers. pods that just Be have surprised. guns in them. Full of covenant reinforcements. Okay, we got another shotgun. Eh, you know what? 
I'll swap this. I'll use the shotgun some more. I haven't, um... I feel like I've used this a lot recently, but I haven't used the shotgun. And that's a covenant weapon. I'm gonna get a lot of those, I sense. You're in my range now. See, this is a... This is the thing, right? As long as you can get back to cover, you're always safe. Unless you have, um... Black Eye, I think it is. Oh yeah, I just remembered that, um... Based on how the schedule goes... I'm recording this in advance, like I do with a lot of things. But based on how the schedule goes, uh, Far Cry Primal should be uploading currently. Which is good. Um, I've been in a mood to play it recently because, uh, because of weird reasons. I ate like a, I ate like a, a steak with my hands. Like I just grabbed it by the bone and just like tore bits off with my teeth. I'll probably talk about that in, in that LP as well. But I don't know if anyone else is gonna watch it. You know. All right, boys. Where are we head next? Is the girl a boy too? Yeah, she is. Got SMG. You have that still. Great. Um, I did the same thing with a pork chop uh, last night. Gondola. Nice, nice. I like that. One way ticket. Yeah, I love I love holding meat by the bone and just rip it into it. It really appeals to a very primal part of me, which is why I really wanted to play a caveman game. Because I feel like caveman games is a genre... I, I should really save this for Far Cry Primal, because I'm definitely going to talk about it then as well. But I feel like caveman games is a genre that doesn't get as much clout anymore. Because, like, back in the day, like, think about the SNES. There's so many um, caveman games, or, or games with that aesthetic idea, you know, like The Simpsons. Not The Simpsons, The Flintstones, Jesus, excuse either me. Built this way on purpose, or was created by some other cataclysmic event. I'm sorry. Were you trying to kill something? I mean, there actually wasn't anyone. Like, uh, Congo's Caper, or, uh... What's his name? Tongo? Torga? Tomba. That's what it is. Joe and Mac? There's a couple of those. I love shooting galleries like this. In, in uh, FPS's where there's Look out. a significant divide between you and your opponents. What are we looking out for, by the way? Okay, so that gondola is going that way. Seriously, what are we looking out for? I'm kind of confused here. Oh, wait, yeah. I should check how this looks. I mean, it's nice, you know? Not as good, though. If I could if I could get a best of both worlds... Like, where it looks like this... Because I really... I, I've talked about it before, but fuck, I love the look of this. Um... Yeah, I, I adore the look of this. God damn. But if I could get, like, this with the upscaled cutscenes and music... Because, like, I love the original sounds of Halo 2. And, you know, the music being upscaled is... Like, maybe that should be in both versions. I don't know. Okay, whenever this thing runs dry, I'll grab one of the zappy rifles. I love the term zap gun. It's a semi, like, common phrase. You know, I never got too much into Halo multiplayer. Like, I've tried it in 3, in Reach. Um, but, like, I never I never got too much out of it, you know? I much prefer um, class shooters, like Team Fortress 2 or Overwatch is what I really played a lot of. Uh, I quit playing Overwatch because Blizzard sucks, and I just 
haven't reinstalled Team Fortress 2 in uh, quite a long time, in fact. I haven't played Team Fortress 2 in probably several years. Uh, I keep meaning to have a show where I play multiplayer games, um, which, thanks to the lead time, might actually have come out by now, but who knows, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is that Woody? Like from Toy Story, not Woody Allen? Like coming on too strong? You're gonna get us killed. Are these two flirting right now? Because if they aren't, will she flirt with me? God I'll damn. Take a boot. Oh man. I hope Corona plays Halo. For those who don't know, um, I'm big into the VTubers. And a VTuber is just, uh, it's a YouTube Let's Player or Twitch streamer who uses um, stuff to capture their movements and superimpose it on a 3D model. Uh, and my favorite company is Hololive. Because I just like a lot of their characters. Nice. Uh, and one of them is like a dog ah, girl by the name of Corona. There's a submerged section that connects these towers to the outlying structures. Well, you know, Corona Chan. Looks like we're going down. Unless you'd prefer to swim. <laughs> yeah, she's canonically like a dog who works at a bakery at her day job. Oh shit. Hi. Though she's kind of like a poisonous cook if she has to cook anything in a video game. And for whatever reason, she like fell in love with Doom. She she literally like someone was telling her that she should play Doom on stream. And she looked at it and she was like, Oh, this looks like fun. And she played Doom 64 the next day. Yeah, she played Doom 64 like the next day, and she really enjoyed it. She thought like Oh man. Oh wow. Now That's this reminds me of Kotor. Transmission from Regret's carrier to something called High Charity. It seems to be Yeah, this reminds me of that section of Kotor of 1. Of truth and mercy. Oh Apparently, my god. Regret jumped the gun when he attacked Earth. He's asking the other prophets to forgive his premature arrival. Ugh. That no human presence was foretold. That explains why there were so few ships in his fleet. But it's odd a prophet would have such bad intel about his enemy's homeworld. Yeah, this reminds me of KOTOR 1. Also a little bit of Bioshock. But anyway, yeah, Corona really enjoyed um, Doom. And she then played Doom 64. Uh, no, she played Doom 64 and then she immediately played Doom 4 right afterwards. Not quite, you know, immediate, but, you know. Uh, and her love of it is to the point where the devs put a reference to her in Doom Eternal. Because um, her liking uh, Doom became a thing after Doom Eternal was already, like, in development. And just before it had come out. But in the first DLC that recently came out. Well, for me, recently. By recently, I mean a couple months ago. Um... The, the old gods or whatever, the ancient gods. But yeah, there's a, there's a reference to her in it. Because she's a dog girl, you know, little, little... Like the Neko Mimi, she's got the little, the little dog ears on. Because she's a dog girl, um, she would write Doog, like D-O-O-G, like combining Doog and... Dog and Doom, excuse me. And so, uh, in Doom Eternal, you can find a little thing where it plays the rev of a chainsaw and, and flashes Doog on the screen as a reference to her love of the chainsaw. Oh, God. I just froze there, sorry. Yeah, as a reference to her, her, her love of the chainsaw and how she spells dog when she's playing Doom. 
Yeah, only in that context. Jeez, will these guys just... God, I like shot them between the crotch. That was weird. Here, how about one of these? Will that help make it easy on you? But yeah, I really hope she plays um, Halo next. Because I'm of the opinion that... Oh, that guy. No, not that guy. Maybe if I had been there and cared, I could have saved him, but I didn't, so he's dead. Hey, fresh beam rifle, though. Wait, he's dead, and I didn't see a dead elite anywhere. So that elite probably is the thing that killed him. Yep. Which means that I have to deal with it. Are those honor guard jackals as well? This is probably the better thing to deal with bugs. I hate these things. Like, they're so sublime and good in, in the idea of, like, yeah, they, they're just small and annoying. You give them, like, a default pistol, like, a, a default needler or, or plasma pistol, and they'll fucking ruin everyone's day. Oh, shit. I'm totally dry. Okay, that got him. <gasps> God. Okay. Saw someone over there. Jeez, oh Pete, that guy really got it. Will you fuck off? Please. On that, I insist. Okay, let's see if I can't find that elite. Because I... <gasps> oh! Where's your brother? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God, that sounded like a glass being set down on the table. Okay, there we go. Where's the other one? I just realized that by my own admission, I don't find hunters very interesting anymore because the surprise of seeing a second one show up is diminished because you know that they will always, always be in pairs. But now the surprise is a different thing. Because there's only one hunter. So where's the hunter? I can get a better one than that, right? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's continue on then. Anyway, TLDR, or TLDL, I guess. I hope Corone, dog VTuber girl, plays Halo. I think she would enjoy it. There he is! Okay, there we go. God. I've never seen them get separated like that before. That's super weird. Active camo, huh? And yet you still didn't notice me sneaking up on you. I guess it doesn't work both ways, huh? Or maybe it does. There's actually a theory about... um. Jesus Christ. There's a theory about um, invisibility cloaks that would mean that uh, they would blind whoever wears them. 
Because invisibility cloaks stop all light from coming in so people can't see you because that's how, you know, visible light works. We got these guys too, huh? But that works both ways, so on the flip side... There would also be, um... No light coming in to you. So you would be blind, you know, while people couldn't see you. Which is interesting. That's a cool idea. Um, I don't know if I've seen anyone work with that. Usually they find some way around, like, oh no, the eye stuff is made of something else. It's like a, it's like a lens, or, you know, it's something that uh, doesn't refract. You know, some bullshit, so they still have someone who can see. But yeah, I think it would be very interesting if you had a protagonist who was able to turn invisible but totally blind while that worked anyway that's why I think that they didn't notice me it's not that they're stupid and the AI is dumb it's just because of science <clears throat> getting some good stretches in I like how the elevator has to stop to load the game a little bit yeah, they want me to see this a second time, huh? Because this is quite the set piece. The carrier just received a response from High Charity. A very well encrypted message from the Prophet of Truth. Listen to this. Your haste has jeopardized the fulfillment of our covenant, threatened our grand design. That you shall be spared a public display of our contempt is thanks only to Mercy and his wise counsel. Truth, Mercy, Regret. Three Prophet Hierarchs. Killing regret should shake up the Covenant leadership, but frankly, it sounds like you might be doing Truth a favor. That's always interesting, whenever you're dealing with, like... Not enemy civil wars, but, like, interdepartmental shenanigansaries. Where it's like, oh, these two hate each other. Sorry, I forgot to turn the dialogue back down. So yeah, for... It's very annoying, but dialogue in uh, in game is not subtitled, only in cutscene. Are you giving me a second to get warmed up? Jesus, man. Your friend just died in front of you. Don't have any point of commentary on that? No nothing? No nada? Interesting. Mercy kill. They would have been killed by Halo's explosion, and that's not good. Interesting that you actually do get a proper stealth kill off of it. Gotta get the fuck out of here. One moment, everyone. Be right back. I'll be right with you. I'll be right with you, sir. Please. I like how there appear to be more covenant weapons that you can dual wield. Because with humans, you basically just get the... Uh, Jeez. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Hold on. Okay. Give me a second here. Yeah, with human weapons, you basically just have the SMG and the, and the pistol. He just stood there and watched me do my work. This is my last run, Chief. I'm nearly out of fuel. We've secured the first tower cluster, so I'll set down there. Call when you're ready for evac. You got it. Just going to go make a little pit stop. Is that? That is the prophet's age-old promise, and it shall be fulfilled. Is that Great Travis Touchdown? Journey. Doesn't he know what these rings do? Hey guys, what's up? So, can I give you... No, they won't take a sword. 
Hmm. Those guys just totally popped in there. This is such like a, a multiplayer map right here that I'm standing in. The idea of getting your multi your multiplayer maps in a, a forerunner like stronghold is kind of radical. Yeah, they're just popping in again. See, it looks nice, but I don't know what it is. Something about this makes me appreciate it a little more. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! God damn it. Chief sounds so defeated when he falls to his death. Just like, ugh. You know? Like, come on. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Nice. Is it over? I really should get the nerf uh, assault rifle. They're making... Because they made uh, some nerf Fortnite guns. And, uh, then, and then they started making nerf uh, Halo guns, which is cool. Because they're still very obviously not real guns. So, like, you're not going to get, like, shot at because it's a... Well, hopefully, at least. Because it's this big white and green, like, plastic toy that just is in the same silhouette. You know, it's the same shape as a... That's where I died last time, so let's... Oh, shit. I'm out. You think you could be a little more careful, sir? <laughs> Something about the left hand looks a little awkward. I don't know what it is. Chief just looks a little strange there. Oh, you already... Yeah, you automatically take the better one. That's right. Let's do one of these. There we go. This is what I want. It's like an automatic noob combo. Normally, the... Uh, I'll leave that there for now. This episode's going on pretty long. Maybe I should have taken a break. You two. So far, so good. We're approaching the main temple now. <sighs> Roger that. I'm as close to the library as I can get. There's some sort of barrier. We're trying to find a way around it. I'll keep you posted. Sorry, a little stretchy there. Again, it's kind of weird that... um. Like, despite the fact that Halo's... Like, this is another Halo the same size, right? So it should be, again, 400 times the size of Earth, right? Oh, they probably want me to get the rocket launcher, huh? Look, I'm nothing if not overconfident. Final take the Oh, there he goes. My face looked like a squid. I'd be angry too. Sometimes I really do w worry about the UNSC. Like, there's so much racism here, you know? Racism against aliens. Like there's this I think I think the original quote comes from Discworld. But it's this it's this uh idea that when aliens show up, racism will stop existing on Earth because people will find new things to be racist against. And the quote is from Discworld, which I think was uh Well, Discworld was written like fifty years ago by now. And if I'm right, the quote is from that, but the quote is, uh, black and white stopped worrying about each other because green was all the more interesting to fret over. Hyper-lethal vector. And you know what? One to grow. Now I just need to find... 
uh, my SMG. Here it is. Let's boogie. Or, what if we pause it right here because the episode's been going on for a while. Uh, hey, I've been Alfred. This has been Halo 2. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, we'll watch this cutscene and uh, play at the next level, I assume. So yeah, bye. Permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? <laughs>